Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Ultmighty Java. In this video, we will see how to fetch Facebook data using Graph API in Spring Social. Let's search for Graph API Facebook Explorer. Open the first link. Need to log in to access Graph API. As you can see Graph API Explorer page. Click on the submit button. In the last video, I said I will show how this me is working. So here as you can see me and after that fields are like idea and name. And when I clicked on submit button it fetched my id and name. So like that. You can access any of the information which comes under me. Click on Get Token and select Get User Access Token. As you can see under User Data Permission there are so many things you can access. For this time let's select Email and click on Get Access Token button. See it is asking for permission. Click on the Continue button. Now add email after the name and click on submit. See now email also coming. Now click again on getting token and select get user access token. For time select all which comes under user data permission and click on get access token. See this time also showing the list which I requested and some of the permissions below have not been approved for the use by Facebook. Click on the continue button. Now add some other fields also like we did for email. See data is coming. Let's search for user post. This time giving exception like user posts is a non-existing field and it comes under user. And there is another way to request so instead of URL, you can directly select from the search box. Like post. See now all posts are coming. Same way now let's the search for inspirational people. See it's coming. Let's search for the profile pic. Giving exception like this call requires a page access token. I hope you got my point. There are so many options are available. Let's see from A to Z. Watch till the end, after this, I will show you how to use this access token to fetch the same data in Spring Social. I think now you got it, how much your personal data is secured when you give access to any application which has a Facebook login. Now let's see how to do the same thing using code. But before this let's run and see it's working or not. Server started. It is not asking for login because we did just logged in some time back for Graph API access. See it's working fine. Now let's open desired files first is hello controller and hello HTML. First, let's add some small change. So now no need to add attribute every time because we are adding directly user profile.
Let's create a variable to hold that token. Copy it from Graph API Explorer and paste it here. Now instead of connection, Get API will create an object of the Facebook template and pass that access token. See how simple it is. Now add fields under string array which you want to access like first name, email, birthday, gender, age range, hometown, inspirational people. That's it for Hello Controller. Now let's add code in Hello HTML. It's very simple, inspirational people contains list so need to enter it. See that it, let's run and see it's working or not. Service started. See it's working fine. Now let's see how to fetch some other data which should not be the part of me like feed and album. I hope you got it why in last video that biofield related error was coming. See how simple it is. So like there are so many things you can do. I hope you can explore it now easily. Let's restart the server. Server started. See it's working fine. Let's review whatever we added. As we saw in this video like fetch data using token but token will expire after some time. So wait for next video in that video we will see how to get token from Graph API. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.